Good morning folks and welcome back to El Camoto. and uh, yeah as you can see we're out on the 48 makes a change doesn't it spent too long on that bloody Pan America so yeah we spent too long on that bloody Pan America and you know why because it's such a bloody good bike especially for the autumn and winter riding but today yeah it's unusually mild but it's currently sitting about seven degrees so it's still quite chilly at the moment, but uh, it's give for this weekend 11 degrees. We're in double figures, that's almost spring-like. So I thought, you know something, we've not been on the 48 for a while. So let's get our clogs on and get on down and go and see the bobhead guys, if they're there that is. And then go for a little ride around on the 48. We're back. So I thought I'd just test out today using the, uh, the Gerbin jacket liner, the heated jacket liner, without anything on top. Underneath the, uh, the new bobhead cut, which I'm wearing. And just to see what it's like keeping your body warm without anything over the top. And like I said, even though it's still a little bit chilly this morning, I've just dropped the heat setting up to number four on the jacket. And my torso and everything is completely nice and warm. Uh, I've not got the gloves on today. We're in the bobhead gloves today because we're all bobhead up. Steve's it. Oh, Demo's just on his new ride. So, out of these two, which would you prefer? Because I know at the moment he's preferring, I mean, look, look at the tread on that tyre. I mean, that is just pure off-road. That's built for off-road, that. Little pannier rack here. So, for camping on this, this would be brilliant around Scotland. Got on it on the ATV tyres, chain drive. Lawnmower engine. Lawnmower engine, yep. So, you can do your grass with it at the same time. Perfect. Exclusive. Bobhead. Right, mate. You Catch you soon. See you later. Okay, so let's get ourselves off on a little ride somewhere. We don't know where. But wherever it is, it's on the 48. So, as always, a nice little visit to Bobhead, and uh, I can't zip my cut up because I am uh, wearing an exclusive new jacket which isn't even released yet uh, but more on that next week because I'll be wearing it when I go Scotland so for now we're being a little bit tight-lipped over it anyway I'm not plugged in my jacket but uh, I've got that many layers on now but then again I can't zip up the cut so I've got the wind blowing down me as well, but never mind, never mind. But anyway, let's go and get ourselves off this bloody boring road and give you guys a little bit of a ride. Okay, folks, so uh, we've uh, come away from Bobhead. I've uh, got some motion potion in, so we've got a full tank of fuel. Uh, so we're just going to take the 48 and just go and do a little run around Woodhead. Um, just to stretch the 48's legs and mine as well, so uh, enjoy the ride, let's go! Tell you what though, because I've not been on this for a while and I've started up a few times in the garage like, but it's just been on charge really over 
last couple of months and the weather's been that crap but to get a day like this today it's probably up to about 12 degrees today a little bit of winter sunshine as well so oh what a difference it makes but the roads have been that grimy wet and salty um, it's just you know I've got a better bike to ride around the winter and that's been the Pan Am so to stretch the legs on this today and you realize when you do get on it what fun the Sportster is but this is why there's so many people that do actually sell the Sportsters and go I've upgraded I bought a bigger bike I bought a fat boy or a breakout or a street glider or what have you and 12 months later it's amazing how many people I should say I miss my Sportster and that's the reason why after all these years I still have the 48 in the garage because every time I look at it and go if I got rid of that bike I would miss just these little blasts out on it and as good as a bigger bike is like a GS, a Pan America or an Africa Twin, Triumph Tiger all your bigger adventure bikes and they are so much great fun and all you folks that you know, I'll never have an adventure bike I used to think the same but for the long distance and the tour and the haul as comfortable as it is and it is to ride it makes you realise when you get back how agricultural and how much fun this bike is just like that beautiful view of the reservoirs down below A little bit slow on the overtake there just before the double white lines but not to worry <clears throat> so I always seem to stop off at this lay-by for some reason because it's just a sort of midway point on Woodard um, I won't film it well I will show you behind because the people that leave shit in lay-bys take the shit home with you and put it in the bin you scruffy bastards anyway um, bike's looking well and it's not got dirty today as I said dry roads does help sun's going down over the hill but we've got enough time I think to get to uh, the reservoir so I think we'll we'll head there do a little off the bike stuff before we uh, head back it's just so good to be out on the 48 <laughs> Oh, I didn't plug in my jacket. Oh, and it has actually gone a little bit chilly. Now I think we're under double figures. Should take the Pan America up that path over there. thing is this road surface is absolute shite oh fucking hell oh get on this new tarmac even that shit <laughs> oh sort your roads out this is crap I've got my cameras dipping down on the front as well Oh, that sun's blinding behind as well. Oh. There you go. Snowgate on there, that's a new one. So that's Wind's car, that's the uh, back road to Wind's car. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Pothole.
Dunsford Bridge. <laughs> Down the dip and up the dip and then take the left turn. Oh. So as good and as much fun as this bike is, it does make you realise how shite that the suspension is. And here we go, back into Windscar Reservoir. Well, at least we've got the sun on the side of us this time, instead of being behind the trees. What a beautiful view with the sun going down over Windscar. we go there we go the only problem is, is the sun's on the wrong side really for the, the way I want the pictures but bloody hell it is windy look at the waves on that and I've been here before where that's been like a mill pond That, folks, is an absolute windswept wind scar reservoir, or wind scar. So you can see why they call it wind scar reservoir, because it is so bloody windy. So I don't know whether this microphone's gonna pick up the wind, I've got the uh, wind thing on, but uh, what an absolute brilliant day just to get out on the 48. Um, although winter has suddenly arrived, it's supposed to be bloody mild this weekend, and we have got now cold wind. So I'm glad I've got the Gerben heated jacket liner underneath my secret exclusive bobhead jacket which is keeping me warm so more about that next week um, but anyway for now let's get back on the bike get over home first and get myself home so uh, see you back on the bike folks can't believe how chilly it's gone down here um, <laughs> i wish i'd have brought my heated gloves now Just have to remember to pack them next week. The other one bonus is at least I've still got my heated grips on there. But in a minute, my torso should be lovely and warm. That's the main thing. Okay. Out of Wind's car. So I've just got a short ride now over the top of the hill and then back home. So it's been an absolute brilliant couple of hours just to get out. Like I said, on the 48, and I'm sure for those of you regular subscribers who do watch because of the sports, the content, this one is for you. Absolutely love this time of the day, uh, just as the sun's going down just before dusk you just have that beautiful sort of colours in the sky almost want to stop and take another picture it's just 
I mean, look at that down there. Look at those clouds. So looking over all the moors into Derbyshire and head over that way and then over this way then back into Yorkshire. It's just a brilliant part of the country. A lot of people have said I'm lucky to have some great riding roads where I live and, and I have, I can't complain. It could be worse, I could live in the middle of the city but this is all within 20 minutes from my house. Uh, but I will, I will give one final mention to uh, a guy who follows me, Eli. Like I said, brother, this one is for you. Now, Eli, uh, he came off his bike. He was saying over one of my rides last week that he had an accident on his bike and came off. When he went to hospital and had a scan, they actually found cancer. So coming off his bike did him a favour because if he hadn't come off his bike, they wouldn't have found cancer. So he's recovering now. And, the, and that guy there actually bought a Sportster. Uh, how old was you now, Eli? 62 or something like that? You bought yourself a Sportster. You follow my channel and... You did say I give you inspiration, so that is a beautiful thing to hear, and it gives me hope uh, to to keep pushing these videos out for you guys. If it gives you guys inspiration as well, it's a wonderful story. So Eli, this whole video is dedicated to you, brother. I hope you've enjoyed it. But on that note, I hope the rest of you have enjoyed watching the video. If this is your first time watching El Camo, oh please do hit that subscribe button, please like the video, share, and comment if you dare. All the usual crap. But on that note, keep a look out because next week we are heading Scotland, rain or shine. The winter camping is definitely on. But until then folks, oh I've lost my front camera. <laughs> until then folks, I must tighten that up. We'll be seeing you soon. El Camoro signing out. We'll see you later folks.